2.2 million people, amongst them 50,000 pregnant women, been besieged for one month. Five and a half thousand women are going to give birth within the next few weeks. If you have 180 women giving birth every day under these conditions, food, water, medicines, the access to cesarean sections and to care for the newborn depend on fuel. We've had cesarean sections for emergency deliveries that have been done with little or no anesthesia and on occasion only with the light from a mobile phone. Put yourself in the shoes of that woman when the surgeon says to her, I have no anesthesia, I don't even have water or soap to wash my hands, but I'm going to try and save your life. What kind of torturous pain goes through her mind on what might be the outcome for her and that baby? Even if she survives, there will be no one to help her. All of it is reversible if the international community can come together and say, stop. <laughs>